Hi, grid layout and columns and padding and margin are the cornerstone uh, behind uh, website design. And I'm going to show you how you can create lay layouts like I'm showing you on the screen using uh, the Gutenberg block editor and a plugin that we've developed called Gutenberg Pro that gives you far greater control over the normal columns block that comes uh, with Gutenberg. So let's crack on. So the normal columns block that comes with Gutenberg is quite limited in terms of what it can do. So you can add columns within your pages. I'm just using this. So this is just the standard columns block here. And you can add, you know, columns within your pages and then you can put text within, you can put text within them like so, um, you know, that sort of thing. And then over in this column, I could put an image block, for example, or any block, but I'm going to put an image block. Let's choose that one. And so you can do that sort of thing, which is quite, you know, that's quite, that's a step forward from what the old editor could do. But I can't then put backgrounds behind any of these columns and I can't change the gutter between here. Um, and I can't add padding within the column. So that's what uh, our plugin, the Gutenberg Pro plugin lets you do. It lets you basically create these really complex layouts using just the columns block. So I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna basically recreate um, this page, which, which will hopefully show you some of the functionality that you get with Gutenberg Pro. But just to emphasize that, you know, once you've got control over your col columns, it opens up a world of design possibilities for you. So it's a really, a really key thing to be able to do. So let me just create this um, page, just give it a title. And I'm just gonna add the normal column, columns block into this page. Now the key design principle behind our plugin Gutenberg Pro is that we don't add any blocks into the block editor. All it does is add extra options into the existing core blocks. Um, so I'm gonna show you what we've added to the col columns block. So I'm gonna basically recreate this page to show you how easy it is to manipulate your columns and rows now using this tool. Uh, and I'm going to start at the top here. So what we've got here is a two column, two column layout, basically. So I'm just going to select that two column layout. Now, the big difference with Gutenberg Pro is that it lets you add backgrounds behind each of these columns, which you can't do. So you just can't do that in the, um, the standard columns block. But that's what our plugin lets you do. So over here on the right, you'll see we've got this brand new option here that says columns block pro settings. In there are all the goodies that let you change stuff within that particular column. So if I click on that, it will expand out and then I can see some of the options within here. Now I can do things like change the background color if I wanted to, uh, or I can set a background image. So I'm just gonna set, set a background image for now. Choose one from my media library. Let's choose that one there. And I'm gonna set that as the background of my column. Now at the moment it'll be quite compressed because we haven't either set the height of the columns block, which we can do in uh, Gutenberg Pro, uh, or we haven't put any text in here. So I'm going to add some extra blocks within this. So I'm just going to add um, a heading block to start with. And then underneath that, I'm going to add a paragraph block. And then underneath that, I'm just going to add the buttons block. Okay, these are all just standard blocks that come with um, WordPress now with the Gutenberg block editor. So if I flick back to my original demo you see here we've got we're, we're starting to recreate this now you'll see that at the moment we don't have any padding um, around this block and again that's another option that we've built in to Gutenberg Pro that the ability to add padding within your columns so over here I've got this setting columns block pro settings and you'll see in here I can set an inner padding so this is going to set the inner padding for the whole um, columns basically so I'm just going to set this roughly at five percent can you see now I've got some nice padding around that, that block, that column rather. Right, let's just flick back here. And in the second column, all we've actually got is a photograph. Um, so I'm just gonna select the column itself. Now, when you're working in the columns block, and this, this sort of is a really useful tip, it's often really useful to click on these three lines because that will show you the hierarchy of the blocks that you're working on. Because one of the nice things about the column, columns block <laughs> but also one of the complexities around the columns block is that you can nest blocks within it. So often what I find, because I see a lot of clients, is they get confused at what level they're actually editing at. So if you're ever confused when you're working in Gutenberg or in particular in a columns block, these three lines up here will show you the hierarchy that you're working on. So if I want to work on this column, you just have to make sure that you've got that column itself selected because then the options over here on the right will directly correspond to that column. Okay, so now I could add a background color to that, or I could add a background image. So let me just add a background image. Let's just choose a fairly blank one, that one there. 
Uh, and you can see you can also set the opacity, which is really cool. So you can do these really nice overlays as well. Okay, so if I just flip back to the grid that we've created, we're, we're kind of there. Now the other thing that we can do with this, um, if we wanted to, we can actually change the, um, the grid gap, which again is a really important thing to be able to do. You see we've just added this extra setting. So you can just grow that or reduce it completely. So that's really, really cool. Okay, then under here, you can probably guess what's coming next. We've just got a three column layout. So I'm going to add the columns block underneath. And this time I'm going to go for a uh, three column layout. One of the other thing that we've added into um, Gutenberg Pro is the ability to actually change the layout once you've actually set it, which is just really nice. So if I want to change the layout of this one, I can do that. If I want to change the layout of this columns block up here, you can see you can just change the proportions. So it just gives you more flexibility to change the design as your as your design evolves basically okay let me flip back to here so again essentially what we've got here is background a background image over here so just make sure you select um, the actual column itself rather than adding it in here you need to select the column but you do see this box around it so it does tell you that you have selected it it will also tell you over here that you selected the column and you'll see these settings change accordingly. So let me just set a few background images for this. Uh, let's go this one here. Okay, so that's now got a background image. And I think we just had, again, all we did in here is we added the heading block. And a paragraph underneath and then under here. So a shortcut to adding blocks in Gutenberg is just, just to hit forward slash. And then you can just type the name of the block that you want to add and it will find it for you. So that's a sort of quick way of working. Um, okay, now again we haven't added the padding yet but we'll do that at the end this time. And the second one we've actually just got a photograph I think. So let's just add a photograph. Uh, that looks nice. In fact we've already used that one so we could replace it. I'll keep it. <laughs> you could replace it and then again this one. Let's choose another photograph like so okay and now the only thing we need to do on this one I think is I know we did have some actually that was a blank that was just a bit of text over there so let me um, remove that and I'm just going to add a color and then within that I think we just had some white text so I'm just going to add the paragraph block add some text change the color to white and all we need to do on this block now is add a bit of padding so for this, again, you have to make sure you selected the top level columns. Otherwise, you won't see the correct settings over here on the right because the padding is only available um, at the top level. And again, I'll just set 5% and you can see what we're doing here. OK, so that's the second. Um, sorry, that's the wrong one. Second column done. And then the third one, we've got a slightly different um, thing going on here. We've just got a photo and an image over on the right. So let's do that. So I'm just going to add for the third time, the columns block. Um, so let me just double check. Yeah, we've just got a two column layout, so we select that one. And then on the left hand column, we've just got a photograph. So I'm just gonna set a photograph as the background. Let's just choose that one. And then over on the right, we've just got some, another, sorry, we've got a background image again Let's just choose that, that's a nice one. And then with this one, we've got a heading. And I'll just change the text color. I think I spelled that wrong. I have indeed. <laughs> and just quickly, again, we've just got some text, which I'll change the color to white. And I will add the buttons block underneath. Okay, you get the idea, hopefully. And then finally, all we have to do here is make sure we've selected the right column. Um, and we're gonna add the padding again. So the padding just is over here. Now this little lock here, what, what I'm doing here is basically it lets me lock it and set it for um, top right. So them all at once basically. You can see how they all change at once. You could set them independently if you wanted to, but for speed, I'm setting them all at once. Now obviously because we're using Gutenberg Pro here, um, if I wanted to change the, the grid gap on any of these, I could do so like that. If 
but you've got full control over that. Uh, this is where you can reverse the columns on mobile. So as it's viewed on a mobile phone, in, in this case, you might want that one uh, to appear before that one. So in that, for that columns, you would just come in here and um, reverse columns on mobile, okay? Which if you've got text, that might, it might be appropriate for that to appear before the other one. Um, and then once we're ready, we can just publish it. Let's publish it, view the page. And there we go, there's our beautiful looking grid. Now, a few other things. We could have made those full, full width as well if we wanted to, to get that full width look. And that's pretty straightforward. Just make sure you select the right column and you'll see this option here to go full width. And that, that column now, the, the top one, uh, you see how it's now stretching all the way across the screen. Obviously, I'd probably want to repeat that for these as well. In fact, let's just do that very quickly so we can see the finished result. Let's make that one full width. You won't always see these as full width in your previews. Uh, you might need to publish them to actually see them as full width because obviously there's a limit on what the editor can show you at this point. And there we go. There's a really, <coughs> you know, quite complex layout. Uh, for your grids, one other setting to show you, which you might find useful when you're doing this as well, is we've added the ability to set a minimum height for your columns. So if you want to force the height of them, like I've just done for that top one, you can do that now. Again, that isn't available um, in the normal Gutenberg block editor. Um, and if I look at this layout here, hopefully you can just work out how this has been created. Basically, it's um, that's two column layout. I've just basically got rid of the gap there, added the background color and some blocks within it, and the same with that one. Um, so there's a look at um, how you can get far more control over your grid layouts and your page layouts uh, using the Gutenberg plugin, the block editor, sorry, the Gutenberg Pro plugin and the block editor. Uh, we have a free 14 day trial for Gutenberg Pro. So if you wanna try it out, just go to poodlepress.com and you'll find it there. But thank you very much for watching. Any questions, please just put them in the uh, comments below. Thank you.